up guys wanted to give you an update uh, it's been a while since I updated my video um, from my TV installation and so I wanted to uh, show you kind of how I have it set up every day I just roll out this cart um, roll it back into the closet and I keep that plugged in to a little cord that's like right inside the wall there so even when it's in the closet it's always charging the computers and the iPods and all that stuff um, so let's go through a breakdown of what I've got on the cart and the TV setup since I have gotten a few questions about that recently and um, wanted to give you an update from my older um, post. So up there you can see the, the uh, TV setup. Let me flip the camera actually. Um, so as you can see, this is uh, from a company called TV Shield. And um, if you're on the blog post, which if you're not, if you're just on YouTube, I'll link up the blog post if you wanna go see my um, do-it-yourself rig that I rigged up. And the, the timeline of this is basically in 2014, I think it was, um, was when I submitted the proposal to my administration um, to get a TV in the gym because we were doing technology training and I was like, hey, I don't have a screen. I have like a projector cart that I can't even roll out in the gym because then we got a cord running through the gym and the balls are hitting the projector and it just wasn't a great situation. It didn't allow me to use and integrate technology like I wanted to. Um, so anyways, I wrote a, a proposal, um, which kind of have links below of the things that I was saying would be beneficial for students to have a screen in the gym, um, and got a price quote for everything. They said it was too expensive. And so then I price quoted, uh, building my own box. Um, I'll throw up a quick shot of this, but I have a, on the blog post, there's a detailed example of how I built it. Um, I just built like a little wooden frame with some plexiglass on front. Anyways, that lasted for or that TV lasted five years and then we had a power surge and the TV was like fried. And so at that time, I, we also had an administration change. So I had a new principal um, who's amazing. Um, and he said that he would, have re he would rather, since we're replacing the TV, to go ahead and, re and get somebody else to install the box since I had personally installed it to limit my own uh, personal liability. Um, and the box is made by a company called TV Shield. I would recommend, if possible, to get one that has the open, um, the door on the front that allows you to open it up and access the TV because the only downside of this is if something goes wrong on the TV, um, you have to get like a lift and the professional installers have to come take it down and it takes a long time and then you're like two months without a screen. Whereas if you had the door that popped open, like my do-it-yourself box did, um, I could just open the door and switch out an HDMI cord or, you know, plug something in and test things out and make sure everything was working. So it's the only downside of this is it's harder to access everything. And then I've um, got an HDMI cord here that comes out and DVD player, HDMI switch so I can plug in like an iPad. I've um, got a wireless keyboard and Apple TV and all the links for everything I have will be on the blog post. Um, so if you're on the blog post, just scroll down or if you're on the YouTube video, you can click the link. Um, this is the little iPad mount right here. Uh, so let me show you real quick how that works. Um, so this is a little wall mounted iPad mount. Um, I had used to have some iPad minis. They got retired uh, by the school district, so I don't have those anymore. But uh, I'll put those in here and then uh, just slide this in here like that. And then this has little uh, retracting arms that hold the iPad. So if you wanted to use an app like uh, Bam Video Delay is one that I use a lot and I would have a cord. Uh, I think I have the cord in my office. Um, one of those little dongles that plugs into your iPad that allows it to translate to HDMI. And then I'll plug that into the TV. So then it would be like a live video feed delayed for the kids. Um, you do any kind of app, a timer app or whatever. What I've been doing mostly is uh, just putting uh, videos into Google slideshows or downloading videos onto a hard drive, plug them straight into the TV um, and using that mostly just videos and animated GIF slideshows. Um, and I have lots of examples of, the, of those on my website. Um, if you want to check those out, I'll have them linked down below in the blog post as well. Uh, my computer cart that I roll in every day. Um, like I said, it stays plugged in inside the office and then we just roll it out. We've got the 
um, Google slideshows. We have like the Bluetooth clicker, so you can kind of walk around the gym as you're progressing through the different uh, slides and things like that. Um, got my basket with my walkie-talkie, wireless mic, band-aids, um, and little thing with like markers for the whiteboard, um, highlighter, pen, things like that that I might want. I keep my iPod plugged in here with all the awesome music playlists that we have going all the time. Um, and then these little wings, you know, they're, it's like a normal computer cart where the wings like go down. So if you wanted to save space, pop back up. Uh, let's see what else we got. The sanitizer spray, <laughs> sanitizing wipes, a uh, little prize box for kids if they like win a tournament or if I see somebody using good behavior, I'll give them a little prize with just random stuff like stickers and pencils and temporary tattoos. Um, box of pencils if we're doing any of our um, worksheet work with like the older kids, like setting goals for our fitness gram and things like that. And then on the bottom rack we have um, just like bins with organizing. This is our fitness unit, so it has like all the certificates and things like that that I give kids and the personal um, goal setting booklets that we do with our fourth and fifth graders. Kind of thing of tape and bungee cords and then our I can statements and then also the quote of the day that I uh, use from Joey Feith at thephysicaleducator.com so for example here you go so for the different units that we do we just put the I can statements up on the board of magnets and then this is Joey's um, quote of the week so I'll swap that out each day with a different quote of the week to talk about with my students and that's pretty much the basics um, the uh, wireless mic and the music goes to my stereo which is uh, wall mounted over there as you can see um, so that's kind of where the music comes from and then these other speakers are for the TV that are next to the TV and that's it guys uh, i hope that was helpful as a quick overview highly recommend getting a screen um, i have lots of links on the blog post down below for teachers that have great projector setups tv setups um, so figure out what you think is going to work well for you it's very motivating for kids it changes the game to have animated gifs playing and visuals for students during instruction because it just gives them so much more um, clear communication to see exactly what you want them to do, uh, especially for those younger students. Um, and then it allows you to have, you can find examples of people demonstrating things that maybe you can't demonstrate, or maybe things that you can't do. So it allows you to bring in people that are skilled, that know how to do things. Um, it's a great way to also, if you're doing an app like BAM Video Delay, to let kids watch themselves do something and then see a video of themselves doing it and realize the things that they need to try to improve. Um, along with, of course, just the YouTube quick intro videos for different sports units and things like that to hook kids and get them excited, get them motivated about it. So highly recommend it, trying to advocate for a screen in your gym. That's my setup. Hope that was helpful. And um, if you're fine with the liability of it, I actually liked my, personally liked my um, box better because it had the open uh, door on it, the one that I made. Um, you know, I have teacher insurance um, through my state PE or state teacher organization. So if you have, or if you're a member of your state organization, usually they have liability insurance as a part of that. Um, and so as long as you're know what you're doing when you, when you put something up on the wall. I mean, I had zero worries that anything was going to happen. I had that thing screwed into the wall with like eight concrete anchors. Um, but all that to say, if your school has the budget to put something up or your administrator, administration uh, is supportive of having somebody come and professionally install it, um, of course, that's great as well. Uh, let me know if you got any questions and hope you have an awesome day. As always, have fun and teach on. Catch you guys later.